Ready to go. All right. I am Cadet Poole. This is Cadet Withers and this Cadet McRae. We are doing Chapter 3, Lesson 2, Nutrition. And I have the section of getting the nutri nutrients you need. Everybody needs the same amount of nutrition to keep a healthy lifestyle. The amount of nutrients that you need depends on your age, your gender, and your state of health. If you have nutrient deficiency, it means you are lacking in a specific nutrient. There are two diseases that you can get from nutrient deficiency, which is osteoporosis and anemia. Osteoporosis is the lack of calcium in your bones, which causes them to become more brittle and break easier. And anemia is the lack of red blood cells in your blood because of the lack of iron. As a teenager, like most of us in this room, you need more calcium and iron to make sure you are ready for the later years of your life. Most people in the U.S. get enough food to eat, but they do not get the amount of nutrients they need. This is a result of all the fast food, restaurants, whatever you like to call them, opening up in the United States, which most of their food they produce is high in fat and sugar. I will be talking about the key nutrients that you'll need in your body. We'll start with vitamin A, which promotes healthy skin and normal vision. You need to eat healthy green vegetables or a yellowish orange fruits, eggs, or liver. Um, the next one will be vitamin B, which is needed for a healthy nervous system. Well, um, to get vitamin B, you'll need to eat poultry, eggs, or fish. Um, the next one you'll need is vitamin C, and it's needed for healthy teeth or gums. Um, to get that, you'll, you can eat citrus, like lemons or... Um, the next one will be vitamin D. Um, it promotes strong bones and teeth. You can get that from uh, drinking milk. Or, and fatty fish. Actually, eating fatty fish. Um, next one will be calcium. Um, it's to build and maintain strong bones and teeth. Um, to get this, you need to um, have dairy products or leafy vegetables. And the last one is zinc, which helps heal wounds and is also needed for cell reproduct reproduction. Um, to get this, you'll need to eat poultry, eggs, beans, peas, or whole grain breads. Alright, um, I'm going to do a brief overview of all various nutrients that you're going to guarantee you need. So I'm going to start with carbohydrates. Um, these are, carbohydrates are starches and sugars that provide the body with almost all of its energy that's broken down. Sugars are simple carbs that are found in candies, your ice cream, your sodas and stuff. Your uh, complex carbs or starches are found in potatoes and your whole grain foods like whole grain bread or your brown rice. So, proteins are used to build, fix, and maintain tissues and muscles. Um, proteins are made up of amino acids. Um, some of these amino acids can be made in your body by your body, whereas others have to be gained through other sources like meats or uh, vegetables or plants. So, um, there you go. Uh, fats are nutrients that provide energy and perform many uh, different tasks, such as giving you fat soluble vitamins and minerals. And, uh, there's three types. There is triglycerides, which are long chains of fats. They 
take a long time to break down, and if you eat too many of them, they can give you a risk for heart disease. And then you have your saturated fats, which come from animals like fish and meats, swine, poultry. Then you have unsaturated fats, which come from different plants, and those are the fats that are good for you. They don't give you heart disease. So then you have your vitamins. These are just things like vitamin A, B, C, D, e, K. Uh, for instance, K is one vitamin that you need. It helps form blood clots so you don't bleed out if you get paper cut. And then you have your minerals that are needed in small doses. Um, they're mostly just to form strong bones. Your phosphorus, your zinc, your calcium. So that's it. Um, then you have your water. Water is incredibly vital. You can't live without it. You can live three days without water. Water is needed to help flush out waste from your system. It's needed to metabolize energy or metabolize carbohydrates. That's, um, it helps regulate, regulate body temperature from sweat. Um, and it helps transport nutrients throughout your body. And then you have cholesterol, which is, a, it's different. Cholesterol is a waxy substance that is in your blood veins um, and arteries. Um, you have two types of cholesterol. You have LDL or low density cholesterol. Um, that's the cholesterol that gives you heart disease and can cause you have heart attacks and strokes. Um, it sticks to the veins and artery wall, the vein and artery walls. Um, the HDL or high density high density cholesterol um, that takes a, that um, destroys the LDL, making you less likely to have heart attacks and strokes. So. Then, with um, other nutrients or non nutrients, you have your trans fatty acids, which are actually an artificial type of fat that is created when hydrogen ga gas comes into contact with oil and that creates trans fatty acids. Does anybody remember what zinc, how you can get zinc into your body? By uh, having poultry or milk. All right, I have a question. What is the best way to get nutrients, in your opinion? Food. What kinds of food? Beef, beans, and McDonald's. Fast <laughs> food joints are not. Case is pretty good as well. No, but uh, food, sunlight, just being overall active, and yeah. All right. How do you get the essential amino acids? A mercy. You eat proteins and meats, poultry, and others. What are the four types of fat? Did you cover that? Yeah. Well, four times four times of four. four types of fat. I do not recall that. Anyone name at least one? I love handfuls. What can I say? Um, saturated fats. Saturated fats, unsaturated fats, and trans fats. I never heard of a fourth one. And triglycerides. Well, that's three. What's the fourth? Trans fats. Trans fats. Yes. Starch lipids and phospholipids also like a fat. Lipids. Fats are lipids. Yeah, exactly. So it's, no, it's, it's phospholipids. Well. Possibly. No, not possibly. You're right, but they can fall under a different form, like saturated and saturated. Mm -hmm. Well, that was our... Eight minutes, 34 seconds. We're making a round of applause. <laughs> okay, constructive criticism. <laughs> All right, the uh, group one, cadet... Kaplan. Okay. Uh, Cadet Pool, you look very nice in uniform. Uh, you spoke pretty fluently, but you were kind of robotic. You talked like this. And, and then when you were done, you didn't look like you had a purpose. You just kind of, the whole time, and made faces in the camera. That's not professional, and yeah. Actually, technically, I was making a Stop! Face like it. 
That's not how you accept, as an adult, constructive criticism. How did I say you accept it? Thank you for the constructive criticism. Cadet Kaplan, say his name, and then thank him, and then tell him how you're going to get better. Cadet Kaplan, thank you for the constructive criticism, and I will make sure I do not sound like a robot next time. Okay. What's your name? Cadet Withers. Cadet Withers. Yes, you were overall really well. My only um, critique would be that um, at, at times it was kind of hard to understand you. You kind of mumbled a little bit halfway through, and I missed what you said. That just, other than that, you were outstanding. Cadet Kaplan, I thank you for your constructive criticism, and I'll make sure to speak more fluent next time. Again, help. Um, McCray. Cray. McCray. 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 Thank you. Um, you were pretty good too, um, but again, you you were kind of you kind of left the half of the class out of the loop. You just kind of looked over here. You didn't look at the other. You, know, you were less involved with the class than the rest of your group. We cannot hear you. Stand up properly and say his name and talk loud. Thank you, Cadet Kaplan. I remember your cake next time. Next. Um, Cadet Cool, I liked how you were trying your hardest to speak clearly and loudly, but another thing is that you were using your paper more than you were looking at us, so maybe next time look at us more than your paper. Cadet yeah, Odell, I thank you for your constructive criticism, and I will remember to look at the class more than my paper. Cadet Withers, there wasn't much I really didn't like. I liked everything about it. You were loud, you were clear. I don't think you mumbled, but <clears throat> I liked the, the fact that you tried to look at us while looking at your paper, and you kept putting your paper down when you went to speak to us. So no, nothing bad. Uh, thank you, Cadet Odo, for your constructive criticism. How does Cadet Withers look professionally relative to everybody else? He looks he really nice. He uniform and professional. Is he ready to go on TV? He's ready to go on TV. He looks fantastic. Y'all need to compliment him on that. Yes. What about the other two? Professionally, how, in accordance with our with our uh, first year cadets, how, how, how do they look? McCray doesn't. McCray doesn't have a belt. Does that take away from your whole group when one person doesn't dress properly? Yes, it does. You better believe it. All right, great job. Thank you. Is that all you got? Um, and Cadet McCray. Um, I liked how you try to speak clearly, but another thing is don't try to lean on the wall. It doesn't look professionally. And um, probably like try not to mumble your words together. Thank you, Dad Odo, and I'll take your critique. Next time, I'll try to be better. Thank you very much. Last person, who's next? Who has not done it? Get it, Ferguson. All right, so then you need to listen to me. When you're wearing my uniform, you don't wear necklaces. Oh, sorry, sir. And I know it was in there once, which means you took it out. Do you understand? Yes, sir. You do not go against what a colonel says or your boss. So that shows me disrespect that you took it out. Don't do that again. Sorry, sir. Okay, go ahead. You're on for constructive criticism. All right, so, Cadet McCray, I think that, well, uh, well all of, first off, all of you guys as a group, you did very well. You're professional and you applied this out, it seems like. But, like, in, you were trying your best, and I could see that, and that you were actually giving effort into it. Like, not that it is kind of hard up there, but you were, seemed like that you didn't really, uh, what would be the word? Go over some of the things as much as you probably should have. That's all I have to say. That's too quiet. You need to talk loud. Thank you, Cadet Ferguson, and I will take your critique and I'll try to do very next time. Excellent. But there's you look very professional and you seem to know what you were talking about and you did a very well job, but it kind of seemed like you were being 
really repetitive, like how you were explaining some of the things, because you, and when you're saying, and then next we have, and then next we have, I would say kind of shake it up. Thank you, Cadet Ferguson, for your critiques, and I will try to change it up a little bit next time. Cadet okay. Coleman, uh, you were, you did very well for someone who doesn't really speak out very much, because I know how you are at school, you don't really read a lot. And so I would say that I would try to work on how you would stop and go and stop and go and stop and go. And we'll solve that next to it. Thank you, Cadet Ferguson. I will take your critique, critique into consideration. All righty. Group, tell me how you feel like y'all did around the room. Tell us. I think I got a C as a whole. I think we got about a B, like just an A if I would imagine. So you say you gave yourself a C? Yourself? Yeah, I think I got like a C minus just because I didn't really project my voice. I didn't address the entire classroom. I was just kind of not paying attention to the guys at all. So. But well, I think we went over the time limit, so. No, no, you were supposed to do five minutes minimum. Y'all, the timing was fine. Oh. At 10 minutes, I was going to start waving. <laughs> but y'all did great. Y'all did fine on the time limit. You did good on that. All right, so. You gave the group a B? Yeah, I think the group gets a B, but I didn't really drink my voice out like I should have. I was kind of just talking to myself, really. Not talking to everyone else. So, that's why I think I gave myself a C. Can I with us, what do you think? I would give myself a C because I just kept being repetitive and saying the same things, not making it seem new. I would give the whole club, the whole group a B. I give myself a C because I was looking at my paper most of the time. I was trying to look at the class, but failing to do so, and I would give the group a B. All right, any other comments from the peanut gallery? That's you guys. <laughs> All right, give them a round of applause. Yay!